Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. Please like, share and subscribe the channel. Contact me for data analysis and training. You can contact me through email or WhatsApp. In this part 4, we will discuss about structure equation model identification. So we will discuss in this video about model identification and its importance in SEM. Determining the number of estimated parameters. We will discuss about different types of models that is unidentified model, just identified model, over identified model and we will even discuss the rules and regulations for model identification in AMOS. Before that first we will see what is model identification. Model identification in structure equation modeling is the extent to which the model's parameters can be uniquely estimated from the data. So here we are going to discuss about the available parameters for the model and how many parameters we want to estimate. The first one is number of distinct sample movements. That is the number of free parameters in the model. When we have a structure equation model, system will automatically decide how many free parameters are available in the model. Now, as a researcher, I need to decide how many parameters I want to estimate. That is number of constraints I want to keep on the parameter uh, in the model, I need to decide. Okay. So, the number of distinct sample movements system will decide automatically means how many are available in the model system will decide. I need to keep constraints like I want to calculate mean, I want to calculate estimate, I want to calculate covariances. In this way, I am going to decide how many covariances I want to calculate, how many estimations I want to calculate. In this way, I am going to keep the constraint on the model. Okay, So, the difference between the number of distinct sample movements minus number of distinct parameters to be estimated is called degree of freedom. So the degree of freedom of a model is the number of free parameters in the model minus the number of constraints on those parameters. Okay, So a model must have at least one degree of freedom in order to be identified. So we are going to see how many parameters we have for a model and how many we want to calculate. Basing on that, we will see three conditions for the model that is unidentified model we will see, just identified model and over identified model. So, basing on the type of degree of freedom, the model identification will be three types. If degree of freedom is a negative, it is called unidentified model. If degree of freedom is zero, it is called just identified model and if the degree of freedom is positive, it is called over identified model. Now we will go to SPSS AMOS, we will take one example and we will discuss these three different conditions and we will see what are the problems or issues we are going to come, we are going to get and how to overcome that. This is SPSS AMOS diagram which we will use to understand different types of model identifications. Now let me calculate first estimate, let me run the model and see. I am clicking this button which is called as calculate estimate. When I am clicking this button calculate estimate you can see this is not getting activated. I am not able to see the output of the diagram. So for understanding why I am not getting the diagram we need to click this button called view text. In the view text you can see there is an issue. The model is probably unidentified. The model is probably unidentified. In order to achieve identify, uh, identifiability, it will probably be necessary to impose one additional constraint. So why it is the problem we are getting? Because the degree of freedom is a minus one. Already we said when degree of freedom is negative, it is called unidentified model. Now you can see here what is the issue here is number of distinct sample movements are 9. Number of distinct parameters to be estimated are 10. Means we have free parameters in the model is only 9. Number of free parameters available for is only 9. 
but we are trying to calculate 10 parameters. So the difference is minus means we are trying to calculate more parameters than what is available for the model. Now system is saying it is not possible because the model is unidentified. What we must do is now we need to keep one constraint so that number of distinct parameters to be estimated also will be equal to number of distinct sample moments. So for that purpose what we must do is in the diagram we need to select this error for this error we have this arrow mark on this we will keep the estimation as 1 okay so the regression weight as I kept as 1 now let me calculate once calculate estimations now you can see this is activated view the output path diagram now this is active now when I click it I am getting the results. Let me again go to view text. Now in the view text, we can see now degree of freedom is 0. Degree of freedom is 0 means it is just identified because number of distinct sample moments are 9. Number of distinct parameters to be estimated also are 9. So the difference is 0. 0 means just identified. Now let us see. How many parameters we are actually trying to estimate just yes, i'll show you here parameter summary this is very easy to understand here we need to see how many weights we are trying to estimate how many covariances we are trying to estimate variances mean and intercept first let us see the weights total weights we are trying to calculate is three in this uh, two we are trying to calculate which are unlabeled and fixed is one let me see the diagram in this diagram this are these two are called weights here we have calculated this weight that is experience impacting sales we have calculated education impacting sales also we have calculated but you can see the error this is fixed we have already kept as one after keeping that as one only we got the system activated that model got activated so the total weights are three in this three two are the one which we have calculated and the one is fixed so these are called as weights now let us see again covariances we have only one covariance so where is the covariance in the diagram this is a covariance 1.21 that is a covariance between experience and education next variances three variances we have calculated where are the three variances which we calculated okay this is one variance okay on experience you can see two values here this value is called mean value and this is called as a variance experience mean is 5.57 variance is 9.19 for education mean is 15.29 variance is 6.13 so one variance two variance and three variance this is the third variance on error also there is a variance so three variances we have calculated and the next mean only two mean values we are able to calculate you can see here one mean is on experience the other mean is on education for error also we have mean but mean is kept as zero so we don't need to bother that one so two mean values we have calculated and the next we want to see is intercept one intercept is there that is this is the intercept value already we discussed in part three how to calculate this intercept value so this is the intercept value so when you keep all this together totally it has become 10 but in this 10 one we have constrained we have made as fixed the so total we are going to have nine so the same thing we can see in the notes for models number of distinct sample moments 9 number of distinct parameters to be estimated also 9 so the degree of freedom became 0 this is just identified in just identified models we don't get the model fit values this we'll discuss in the next video about uh, model fit and how to understand that model fit parameters now for time being we are discussing about this
this just identified model number of distinct parameters minus number of distinct parameters to be estimated the degree of freedom is zero now what we will do is we'll keep one more constraint on the model and see it over identified so what we will do is we'll take experience and for experience we'll make the mean as one for understanding purpose i'm doing it's only for understanding purpose to keep one more constraint fixed one so i just kept the mean as one and calculate estimate now see you can see experience mean is one system is not calculating it now let us see the model view text in view text models you can see here number of distinct sample moments it is always fixed it is nine and number of distinct parameters that we want to calculate is only eight why we are calculating eight because one we already fixed it we're not calculating one the mean value so degree of freedom has become nine minus eight which is one so this is called over identified when you have over identified the degree of freedom will be positive now you can see the parameter summary also in fixed you can see one mean value i have made it as fixed i made as fixed even total is a 10 in this we are able to calculate only eight values only we are trying to calculate so this is called over identification so i have shown you three type of models unidentified means degree of freedom is minus just identified where degree of freedom is zero and over identified where degree of freedom is positive here we got as one so three conditions when you have unidentified model we don't get any results the system will not provide any type of results to us when we have just identified we'll get results but we don't have model fit indices we don't have all the results we don't get it but over identified will get the model results uh, model fit values we will be getting so these are the three different model identification when we discuss about cfa i'll say some more constraints how to make the model identification okay for timing it is important to understand that three type of model identifications and always we need to see that the model is either just identified or over identified the model must never be unidentified. Mm -hmm.